Yes, it bends, it bends, it bends. This is not a bendable TV. This is a bendable OLED gaming monitor from LG. Hey guys, Thunder E here, and welcome to our very first video of 2023. Today we're taking a look at the LG OLED Flex. This is the industry's first bendable OLED TV. And what's interesting about this is not just the fact that it bends, it's what actually it brings to the table. Now, I'll start off with the price point first off. It costs $2499, so $2,500. Yes, it is pricey, but if you think about it compared to other OLED gaming monitors at this uh, size and price point, it's actually not bad. Now, when you look at the OLED Flex, uh, first off, it looks like a TV because it's 42 inches uh, and it comes with, of course, an OLED panel. And what I like is that is that this is the same panel you'll find on the LG C2 OLED TV, which is a great panel. So which means this panel also supports 120 uh, hertz in terms of refresh rate. That's really nice. Now, the overall build is also unique and different. It's got a uh, a very sturdy base stand to it, really wide, so it takes up a lot more space than you'd expect in your desks. So if you're looking to get something like this, make sure you have a larger desk area for this. Now, the one thing I do like, but also kind of plays a little bit negatively to this is the fact that it comes as one unit. You don't have to install a stand or anything. You pull it out of the box and you drop it down and it's one single piece. So it makes it look a little bit stuffy, but because uh, it's an, a bendable OLED, it's very flexible. Now, in terms of connectors and ports, you do have four HDMI 2.1 ports, supports VRR, and all the gaming features that you look for, uh, Adobe Vision, uh, HDR gaming, all that fun stuff is built into this gaming monitor. So let's talk about the monitor itself and that bendable capability. This is achieved quite easily with some really cool technology that I don't know how to explain, but what I do know that this is also an automated bending monitor, which means all you have to do is use your LG remote control, which I have here, and hit and hold the game button. That brings up the quick menu that allows you to change the curvature up to 20 different positions, or you can use the preset where it curves up to 50%, or curves up to 100%. Now at 100%, that's a 900R curved radius. And the next question I know you're gonna ask is, Thunder E, why do I care if it bends? Hear me out. This is where I think it's really important for a monitor this size. A 42 inch gaming monitor is large. If you're playing any game, it's gonna feel like everything is far away from your eyesight. Now, having the ability to bend it in brings the gameplay experience closer to you and much more tight knit. So you can make it as close as you want or as far as you want. And I like that experience here. And it works pretty well. So hitting the button, you can swap between 50, 100, and it's a fairly smooth experience and it doesn't stop your gaming experience while you're using it. So whatever you're doing will continue as you're doing that as well, which is nice. Now, in terms of gaming, this is what you would expect from a, an LG OLED. It is smooth fast response time, very, very solid. Whether you're playing on your PC, you know, it's games like Doom Eternal, some, you know, uh, Warzone, things like that. They look really nice, very vibrant, or even switching over to your PlayStation 5. Again, remember, you've got HDMI 2.1 ports, uh, playing some, uh, you know, God of War Ragnarok. Everything look vi looks vibrant, it looks sharp, it looks vivid, and that really comes out with this. The colors are rich. You've got, of course, you know, that Dolby Vision game in, in there as well. So everything comes out very, very nice. Now, the other thing that really adds an extra element to this monitor is the sound. A lot of monitors have speakers built in, and especially at 42 inches, you expect better speakers. Now, LG, of course, is known for giving good audio, but I want you guys to really listen to the audio of this as I game because it takes it to a very different level. It feels like there's a mini sound bar that's got two 40 watt speakers built in. So there's richer sound as you game. Where are we? Somewhere only giants were meant to see. These shrines tell their stories to the world, but it turns out the real stories, the secret stories, those they kept here, inside.
Yeah, it is a solid gaming experience on the audio side of things. Now, because this is a blend of LG's monitor technology as well as LG's TV technology, you have a couple of features built into this. So if you tap the game button again on your remote control, that brings up this new game hub, which allows you to quickly access certain things like your different consoles or your PC that's connected, as well as also um, uh, quick access to things like YouTube and Twitch. Now, when you're connected with a console, like say your Xbox Series X, or you can hit the menu button, you can go into the game center, which gives you a full game hub that shows you your current stats. So if you're in uh, your Xbox Series X, you see it's 60 frames per second, so you're playing a game, you can change some of the settings there and you can have specific game presets or while on my PC, you can see it's doing 119 uh, in, in terms of refresh rate. So you have that built into it to give you a much more in-depth experience. Now the question is, do I actually like this? My answer yes is yes. Uh, not just because of the novelty that it bends, but it's because that when it bends, I use that mostly while I'm gaming. And it gives a very fun, enriching experience, especially when I'm PC gaming. I'm playing Call of Duty, I'm playing Warzone, um, you know, those are the kind of games that I really wanna get into and stay focused in, and I like that. Now, you do have an option to also reframe the size of your screen, so you have a small screen size for gamers who want to play as a 27 inch, you know, even though you have a 42 inch uh, gaming monitor here, but you have that built into it. Now. The combination of all that plus the audio, I think this is a stellar monitor and also a great first offering for one of the world's first bendable OLEDs. Now, is this for everyone? No, because it's expensive and it's really not necessary, but what LG has brought to the table really works well. And I like to see this improve where the design is much slimmer in the future and also it gets a bit more affordable or even we have that at a smaller screen size to see how that works for gamers in tow. And then appendix. You do have some great WebOS functionality built into this as well. Because of that marriage of LG TV and LG monitors, you have quick access to all your streaming services that you have on WebOS from Netflix, Disney Plus, HBO Max, the works because it's built in there. And of course, it's a fun, great experience to have both your gaming monitor and your TV and your game consoles all together as one. So let me know what you think, guys, if you have any questions, any comments, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.